Hello, my friend. Welcome to your EQ session. I hope you're doing as well as possible. For today's session, we're really going to be focusing on restoring your energy. So you're just lying on this beautiful Reiki table in our Reiki room. And all you have to do is just melt into this present moment, sink into the here and now, and just allow this healing to take place. If you fall asleep, all the better. Sometimes when we're awake and thinking, we can invite more attention. And when we start to rest and relax, that's when we can really start to heal ourselves. It's beautiful process and practice. Just taking time to relax. So my intention for this session is really to encourage you. If you've had a really tough day, if you've had a tough week, if you're coming off of some energy that just feels either stagnant or maybe even icky, I just want to clear that energy and just restore your whole auric field so that you can go into tomorrow just with some fresh, vibrant vibes. <laughs> Sometimes we just need to do a complete energetic overhaul so that we can really start fresh. So that's what we're going to do here today. How that sound? Good. Okay. So I'm going to use this little owl rattle just to shake up your energy so that we can begin to just kind of clear anything that's left over from the day or the night. So, maybe start to slow your breathing. Just be conscious of where you're holding your breath. Maybe be conscious of where you're holding your tension. So as we start to shake this up, just be open to the possibility that there's a different way of doing this. There's a different way of breathing. There's a different way of connecting with our energy field. There's a different way of moving through our lives. There's just, you have options. <laughs> start here and we'll move through, okay? feeling better. Just that reminder that it's okay to take a breath. It's okay to shift your energy. That we can look at our energy as a choice. The energy that we're bringing to circumstances. The energy that we wake up with. We can always shift. There's always potential for change there. I have some really exciting news for me and hopefully for you too. Tomorrow is publishing day for my book. So I've been, you know, sharing about my book for the past few weeks and here it is. It's called Self Love, A Month of Meditations by Anna Babel. I am so freaking excited. I'm so grateful to all of you. Oh my gosh. Like there's not it's not, there's not a nicer group of people on the planet. You are so kind, so supportive. You have been just incredible over the last few weeks, but also over the last like six months. <laughs> and, you know, since I started, since I told you that I've been working on it, 
You've just been so supportive and lovely and this is such a dream come true for me, so thank you. I wrote this book for you. It's a meditation book, so if you are new to meditating or if you are a seasoned pro and you meditate regularly and you have a routine, this is a great, a great one for you. There are 30 meditations and tons of different styles and types of meditations, but all of them kind of focusing on my background, which is Reiki and energy healing. So that's definitely a part of, of what you're going to experience with this. It's really raining out there. Wow. If we lose power, at least we'll have these lights, right? <laughs> Our candles go. Oh my gosh, I hope you love it. I hope you read it all the way through and you love it. But it's one of those where you can just pick it up at any point, even though it is like day one, day two, day three. If you're just like, you know what, I just want to kind of skim around, you can pick it up anywhere and just read and be inspired. And I found and loved meditation through reading. So I think that's such a powerful way of connecting with meditation because it's your own voice, it's your own words. So I think it really strengthens and heightens that connection. It's not your own words, but it's your own experience of the words on the page. Instead of someone else's interpretation as they're saying it to you or... Yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Please leave me a review. Um, leave me a positive review. And to get your book, that would help me so, so much. So anyway, love about that. We're restoring your energy here. But I'm really excited. I'll see you tomorrow. So yeah, your energy's already feeling a lot better. And I'm going to go ahead and begin with a little intention setting. So even though we know that we're here to restore energy and all of that, I just still want to set our intention very specifically for restore, you know, clearing whatever has been maybe bothering you, holding you up, and then making it available for you to call in something new. A lot of you have been requesting lately things for manifestations, or, you know, opening to your potential and all that. So I've been trying to f satisfy those requests, but I also think it's really important and powerful for us to just be here. Maybe if we wanted to invite in a gratitude practice, this could be a really helpful and healthy time to do that. Just to say, yeah, I've been manifesting, I've been opening up new passageways for, for our new energy to come through. But I also want to shed light on the things I do have and really share the gratitude that I feel for all the things and the gifts that I have already. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful to be able to hang out here. I think this is one of the coolest communities. It's the coolest community I've ever been a part of. I love you all so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. to conduct this Reiki session to restore your energy, to help you feel balanced, help you align and find harmony within. Now, if you would like to set your own intention, feel free to gaze into this flame and do so now. And as long as it serves all of our highest, wisest selves, then I will honor that intention and see it through time and space to where and whenever it's applicable.
Now I'm going to draw the sacred Reiki symbols. It's a new symbol I've been working on. Inviting that in to connect with energies all around, present and past. With love and support. So if you have a loved one too, who has passed, then we're just calling that energy in. To help restore, restore your aura, restore your etheric field, just to help you feel really in touch with what's going on within, so you can care for yourself better. I'm going to invite in some stones now. The stones that I'm going to be using are quartz. Quartz. Stones. So I have a clear quartz cluster. This is a really great stone for lifting your vibration. It's a very amplifying stone. It has a very clear, pure energy to it. This is a great one. Very high vibrational. I love this. So I have a few different clear quartz. And then I have this, which is, I think, um, this was sold to me as a smoky quartz years and years ago. But we've, we've since decided that it's not a smoky quartz, you and I. Um, and I can't remember what you said it was, one of you was saying that it was. It's not a rotolated quartz. It definitely has a lot of prisms inside. It's got this honey amber kind of, um, kind of a honey amber inset. It's really beautiful. But I can't remember what we decided it was. If you do remember what this one was, let me know. So we're gonna be playing with this. And then I have a new stone. When I bought it, I didn't know they were going to give it to me in this plastic thing. Whenever um, a place gives me something with plastic, uh, when I don't didn't realize that that would happen, I always try to use this like forever and never get rid of it because Monty Don from Gardener's World always says that it's like my favorite show and he always says that you know plastic becomes trash when it's thrown away so you want to just do your best not to throw it away so I'll come up with these for this this may be where I store this guy anyway so here we have a spirit cord 
It's so beautiful and sparkly. So we'll start with this one. Lots and lots of really tiny different points. And so that gives it that really sparkly, incredible and magical look to it. And that's just like a whisper of purple. Kind of looks like a really light, 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 light. This has been sitting out on your windows for too long. <laughs> it was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, very magical, and it's wonderful for balancing, aligning, and harmonizing. So we're gonna move through with this quartz here. I just really want you to feel into the sensation of balance and alignment. Developing a sense of harmony with all aspects of life, you know, trying to develop a sense of balance with work and home life, a sense of balance with the types of energy that you go into situations with. So balancing your internal energy, balancing the way you structure your day and your life, uh, just inviting balance into all aspects of your life. You know, placing a lot of energy in work and maybe sacrificing some friendships. We just want to balance that out. Pour some more love into the friendship cup. And just try our best to invite that really beautiful, holistic approach to our lives. Not just our health, just our spiritual, you know, presence, but our whole lives embodying that beautiful, deep sense of balance and harmony. I'm gonna place this right here. I like that you can kind of put your thumb here and use it like that. So we're going to move through. Clusters are great for kind of combing through energy and points are great for focusing that energy. So we're covering all of our bases here. We want to invite purity, clarity, harmony. Purity, clarity, harmony. Purity. Place 
And so now we have our quartz with rainbow inclusions, this tower or generator, and these, this shape of crystal, very popular. And it's great because you can place this on your body, you can place this on top of a grid, you can place this on top of some written manifestations, and it just charges that energy and sends it straight up to source. And, I mean, I think this is just a quartz with rainbow inclusions, but you guys let me know. Really, really pretty. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to draw that energy down. All of this beautiful source energy down and send it into your chakras. So as we do this, just imagine that this glimmering light flows in from the cosmos, filling up each of your chakras, helping you to balance and align. And this glimmering energy flows all the way through you, filling you up with gorgeous healing light. Beautiful. Shake your energy one more time. Using a seed rattle, and we'll just end on this really beautiful, full, thick, buoyant.
close with the Reiki precepts here. Just for today, I will not anger. You can repeat these to yourself or aloud. Just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I will be honest. Just for today, I will be grateful. Just for today, I will be kind. You are divine, you are connected, you are expressive, you are loved, you are strong, you are creative, you are safe. Thank you so much for joining me. It's always such a pleasure for me to get to connect with you, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you again so much for pre-ordering my book and also order it at any of your local bookstores if you'd prefer to do that. Go into any bookstore, most of them should be able to just order it for you. If you'd like to support a local bookstore, that's an awesome way to do it and then my book can get out there as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sending you heaps of love and support. I hope this helps just to reinvigorate you and restore your energy give you positive, healing, uplifted vibes to carry you through the rest of your day, your night, your week, your month, and your year. I love you so much. I'll see you again very, very soon. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday, but you knew that already. Okay, till next time, be so, so well.